Welcome back to the Painted Picker, previously known as Cozy's Picking and Flipping. I might change myself back to Picking and Flipping because I don't know if I like the Painted Picker. I'm more of a Picking and Flipping guy. The Painted Picker's more simple. Let me know what you guys think below. Um, should I be Picking and Flipping or Painted Picker? Either way, welcome to the Painted Picker. That's where I am now. Today I just want to talk just go on record and talk to you guys for like maybe 10 minutes or so about life about picking and flipping um hope everyone out there is having a good year reselling i do this part-time as a hobby um considering considering making it one of my full-time gigs that I want to do. Just haven't built it up enough yet, but I'm working on it. Um, I sell on mostly eBay, then uh, Poshmark, which is slower than Rats Potatoes. Macari, which is slower than Rats Potatoes since they did the shipping change. They kind of killed them. I mean, that's my opinion, but... What do you guys think about that? When they when they they took away the fees, they gave it to the seller. I mean the buyer. I mean it's good for us if we're getting sales, but I've definitely got less sales since that happened. That's just my personal thingy majigger that I want to say that I've noticed. Um, yeah, so I guess it's gonna show you. Mostly, okay, so what I do, most, most of the stuff that I resell, I get from local thrift stores and Goodwills. Summertime, I go to yard sales. I do estate sales. I mean, I, I try to, like, mix it up a lot. I even go to, like, Marshalls, uh, TJ Maxx, Walmart. Lowe's, fucking Kohl's, shit, Any, anywhere I think I can make a dollar, I'm, I'm in there looking, you know, so on that note, I'm just going to show you a few things I got yesterday at my local Walmart, which I haven't been in there in probably five or six months to source any items. But I was like, I'm in the area, I got a little extra time. Let's uh, take a look. So I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to show you what I got and I'm going to post a video. Alright. So I got this Gerber Good Start. It's a, um, for milk intolerance and allergy. For $4 a can. It was $36 a can. And it expires November of this year, so I'd have to get the I have to get this listed as soon as possible because it's gonna expire within five months. I mean, it should sell as long as I price it correctly. Well, let's take a gander mountain of what this will go for on eBay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Let's type into the chat. That's what we got going on here. Gerber. I'm typing with one hand, uh, phone in the other. Good start. Extensive HA. Let's see what comes up. All right, so three of them are sewn. Let's see if we can filter. I know I do it on my phone. Condition. Anyways, you get the drift. So I got for four dollars a piece. Three of them are selling for forty dollars, free shipping. Six of them for a hundred and twenty. Right here, this guy's selling two of them for fifty. I'll have to check the sold comments. I don't know how to do it on the on the online. I always use my phone. 
I should say this. Oh, there we go. Let's see. So seven of them have sold for 125 June 10th. I have two. So I think I'll do all right on them, you know. Six for 117. So what's 117 divided by three? That's what I'm listening for. 36, 90, 40, like $38 for two. Free shipping. Probably cost me around ten dollars a ship at the most. I paid not the greatest buy, but I think I'll make like at least double, maybe triple my money if I'm lucky on them. Not bad. Not too shabby. I got these um Walmart refrigerator filters, replaceables. I don't know, maybe I can get, they're all a dollar or 50 cents a piece. I think I can make like seven, eight dollars a piece. I got five of them, okay. I got this black ink thing. I think I can make like 10 bucks on it. Nothing crazy, you know. Bunch of like frame. Let me show you. A bunch of these frammy, whammy air filters for a dollar each. There was a ton of them in there, but I don't know. I'm not... I never really sold too many car parts. I mean, I have noticed I do sell. Probably make about 8 to $10 a piece on them eventually. Something like that. I didn't buy... I was going to buy them all, but I was like... Better test out the waters first and see how... The fish are fucking flying, you know, before I start going all in on the frames. But, got them. Also got this. Frigidaire Pure Source 2 Water and Ice Refrigerator Filter, $2, was $56. Not bad. And, I think after scanning it... I don't know, it goes for like 40 bucks right on eBay, something like that. That's a pretty good home run, you know? Now, if they had like 30 of them, you're in the money, bro. But, um, yeah. Anyways, the point is, there's no set in stone place that I go to find my items, but I'm always out there on the hustle. Even if I walk into a Walgreens, I'm going to be looking for the deals. Always... Keep your eyes open out there. Stay hustling. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get this channel to 50 subscribers. So I can go live while I'm out on the hunt. If you like that idea, hit the button. Comment down below whatever you think. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.